have a Siberian or are you interested in getting one? Want to be able to wear your Husky out or find out what this breed needs in terms of exercise requirements? Then this is the perfect video for you. Stick around as we do a deep dive into the Siberian Husky's exercise requirements. Siberian is an active and intelligent breed that is actually incredibly hard to wear out. This breed should not be underestimated in how much work is required to keep them happy. So they are definitely not for the more laid back or inactive owner. The Siberian was developed as a sled racing dog, meaning they have a lot of stamina, are used to pulling heavy things and doing so over rough terrain. This is why Huskies are still used for sled racing and utilized as working pack dogs to this day. The first thing you need to know is that the Siberian likes to run. So they make excellent on lead running companions, on lead hiking companions or biking buddies. The on lead part is crucial here as it is in the breed's nature to move quickly and travel, which can find them lost before either of you have realized what has happened. So the Husky is always best on a lead or in a fenced in area when you are trying to drain all of that physical energy. With the Siberian Husky, physical stimulation is only one side of the coin. The breed is intelligent and they do need to have their mind worked. Just running them out will not be enough all by itself if you are not also tiring their active minds. Mental stimulation can be achieved by doing some basic obedience work with them. Or you can use something like a foraging mat where you place some food on the mat and allow them to sift through it to get to the pieces of food or treats. Puzzle balls also work wonders and really engage the Husky's mind to get the goodies hidden within. Suppose you don't have either of these, no problem. You can achieve the same result by doing something simple like taking a cup of kibble outside to a grassy fenced in area, scattering it around and allowing the dog to sniff out the pieces of food. This not only makes the dog have to think, but rely on their sense of smell to locate the pieces of kibble. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Afferton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just wanna be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. If you don't allow your Siberian proper physical and mental stimulation, you will have some rather undesirable consequences to deal with. This breed can become incredibly destructive and will attempt to ease their frustration by chewing on things they shouldn't. Excessive howling, getting into the trash or excessive digging. The breed does dig anyway, but it will be much, much worse if they do not have an outlet and are left to their own devices. This breed can also become very hard to control when they have too much energy and might jump up on people or get too feisty when they do finally get the chance to let loose. This can be a problem if they are interacting with older family members or playing with younger children. We hope this gave you some insight into what to expect from a Siberian Husky and what they will need from you in terms of physical and mental stimulation to be calm, well-behaved canine companions and what some of the downsides will be if you are unable to provide this.